biggest British Grand Prix I've attended in the 40 years that I've been here. Mark Marquez on pole. Don't worry about the time. Been where Jack Miller sits at this moment in time. We have had five different winners over the five years of Grand All quick on this grid. There are no losers, that is for certain. Mark Marquez will start from his fourth consecutive tight one in 2015. Valentino Rossi, 44 degrees of track temperature. That is only two degrees. There's nothing better. It's a, you know, it's, a, it's an honour for me to be on that grid. I, I genuinely mean that. Look at the stats. Interrupting you at five different times. The MV was so much better than anything else in the field. Now the whole field is almost as good as what Marquez has got. Win this race. If the gamble pays off, he could check out. So it could, it's one of them hero or zero. It's critical because once we're into maggots and beckets, what it's got one line all the way through, they're onto the hangar straight. And if you try and make a pass there, you can... Still, the 20-year-old on bike number 20, Fabio Quattararo, with that medium front tyre, is looking to try and outfox. And he slotted straight in the second place, and a Suzuki... Oh! Quattararo! Front end went out from under him, Quattararo! It doesn't, we've seen so many disasters in that first turn here, whether it be British Championship racing or otherwise. What a... The race director is very, very good indeed, but it's all about Davizio who's been knocked down that's a fast corner to have someone lock. and now Marquez is doing plan a yeah he's had it, he, he had to try and get the whole shot and he's gonna throw everything at it the good news is the national straight now past the wing oh, shaking the head shaking everybody goes Marquez we're on the front straight he's seen him at it for a moment as well if he can get that Yamaha to work yeah one of the crashes sort of worked for Vignales it's got rid of a few of the quick guys he also here it goes oh do you know it's Rins had exactly the same slide it, as yeah. well Rins nearly went down Hot temperatures, just maybe that Suzuki is up for it. It won here how long ago in the hands of Maverick Vinales? I know that was difficult conditions compared with 1.560. So already, Mark Marquez's is um, that record, race lap record is out the window. By the time we got to race, though, it's always the same with Alex Rins. He just builds up through the weekend, and right there, before we build down towards back down the box into Village. Vinales, look at Vinales back there. Look at Morbidelli all over Vinales as well, so the Patronus bike, the remaining one. Watch this. Rins, in Rins gets hot. sucked in. Actually, Marquez was in a little bit hot, and that really pulled Alex Rins in. And it does. It draws this race, um, that record as the fuel levels go down. We'll get quicker and quicker until the tyres have gone off to a point where you just can't. Race at the moment, Polis Bargro on the KTM has moved ahead of Taka Nakagami up into eighth place. Great ride from Polis Bargro. Watch the rider in front, Quattararo, watch his rear tyre now. Look at the ball, they're both, both went. Wow. That was Dobby riding over the top. Oh. Yeah, you could, some riders choose not to have it at, around their hips. It's um, more an upper body thing for many. It's into that into the loop section. The whole thing backs in, it slides. It's honestly, it's it's a pleasure to ride on this track. You just like showing off. 1.2, they say. It's actually 1.5 back from Alex Rins to Rossi now. So in here, that Suzuki, I would suggest, will use its tires less than the Honda. Definitely, definitely around here. They've this got the same pace. But if it drops away too far, they are nearly two seconds. Vinales is nearly two seconds back on rather dull run of uh, form at the moment. I've got to say for Petrucci on the Ducati, Alicia Spargro on the Aprilia is 11. That's a great ride from him. Literally, since that summer break, the the Petrucci for Ducati has been nowhere. Yeah, but you've got Petrucci and Davizioso having a hard time on Suzuki. Here comes Maverick Vinales on the doctor. So hearts are being broken. Massive Valentino Rossi. Using all that 40 years of experience, Keith, and not getting carried away at this point of the race. Mark Marquez, just being hounded by a, any disrespect from Marquez, that's for certain, we saw it, didn't we? And uh, he said, I used to be a little bit timid, but not now. <laughs> Gone, Go on. unceremoniously on its side, an easy fall to make. And uh, the other hill. Tricky bit of the course, this veil. Cambalori fell yep. earlier on in the weekend. And it was at the exact point where you release a brake, get on the throttle. We've seen a lot of crashes there at Vale this weekend. It should have a little bit more. Not bad. I've got a feeling. Did the Honda roll it? Yes. I and and, so. and, and Rins and there's Morbidelli. I did say I thought he looked uh, like he was squaring up for a snap back straight at Cal Crutchlow. And that's yeah. it. Rins was over the line 2.7. It's now down to 1.8. The gap from third to second. And if they keep... They're doing two minutes, 0.4, two minutes, 0.1, the leaders. Let's see what it is as over the line. Jack Miller chasing Cal Crutchlow, his mate. But two minutes for Vinales and Rossi. There's Zarco. The man who has announced that he will leave KTM. Oh, here we go. Yep. Well, he was actually he was right at the apex as uh, Oliveira just. Do you know what's happened, Keith? With Rins and Marquez, 
messing around, so the gap's come down to 1.7. But on Philip Island a little bit, the mark is, where he backed off and let his tyres come back to him for a while. Uh, before he pulls the pin in the later stage. Also, we've seen Dobby do this in the past where he rolls off for a lap or two and then pulls the pin. The good news is he can't break Rin. Management will try and pull him out of it, but obviously they deem that being race fit, you've got to get out there and do a bit of work, and he is. So, uh, Lorenzo... Higher shot. He'd gone for a slightly softer compound than some of the others, but it was destroyed for a Moto3 bike. That Suzuki looks cool, calm and collected, despite the fact that Marquez has just stuck in the fastest. Want to beat me. And it's a good little tip, that, and that's what basically well, has happened is... between these two. Oh, you can go. This is great stuff. Petrucci should not be battling with a KTM and a couple of Aprilias. But he is. A, by contrast, has really chucked everything at it and puts in such a lot of work. If Jack Miller has obviously made a mistake somewhere, these two now back in reverse order. It down to Alex Rins. I suspect not. The problem is he's just circulating around the same time as... In grip. The, ...the corners, you're really going to notice it. Look at the way the rear tyre spreads out over the track as you see. A situation where the last lap of this race, we're going to see something along the lines of the lunch-up quite like that, but uh, there's a gap. Rins has Rins come in. Oh, sorry, not Rins. Vinales Marquez unbeaten him, so... That was Texas. Yes. Joe, this is closing down closer and closer. This um, 1.6 again, the gap back to Rinza Vinales. It's Yo-Yo place man Morbidelli as well. So Rossi having a lonely time back there in fourth place. It's about the front. Pin three, full power, let's go. Let's see what it does. But of course, if you haven't got the tyre that allows oh, no. you to use that uh, tail. Afternoon, Jamie, if you're watching. You bet be. I'm sure it will be. Marquez, Rinza, he's got more ammo. Rossi still fourth. Morbidelli, Crutchlow still sixth in front of Jack of the group. We go back, this is going to be horrendous. On board with Dobby as turning right in front of him. Wow. Oh. Straight. It looks like Marquez is running out of tyre. And you can see there the confidence of the Suzuki on the front. And tight for it when he turns right here, just after for the power. Wow. And out it comes yeah. from the rear end. Gets it all back under control. Says it all. Point three still back to Rins. Maverick Vinal is point six, one point six now. Back to that. Able to react so exactly. I, I know what 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 you it's what I, you do. I, I think Rins has got both the pace back down really quickly after that mistake, which gives me an indication, gives everyone an indication, gives him an indication that he might just out of time. Question is, has Marquez? Oh, oh, hang on. Has Marquez? Is Marquez in this closing stages? Two laps to go as they come to the line. Marquez plus zero, it says. They're encouraging Marquez for Maverick Vinales. What's incredible is we see in pot the Suzuki that's strong in some parts of the track, but really weak on the... Honda is still a little bit quicker than the, the uh, Suzuki down the, the back straight, the hangar straight. So we warm. This is Abby. He's got to be closer than that because Marquez on the Honda will be... Has he got an opportunity? Oh, here he goes. He goes underneath him at Aintree. Onto the back straight, Wellington straight. We're on now. That's tyre grip. Oh, that's Barry Sheen versus Kenny Roberts. 1979, 40 years ago there. Corner, Beckett's corner. And then, finally, Chapel corner. Turn six out onto the hangar straight. We're there now. Marquez has got to do it right now. This is what it looks like back in the Yamaha camp, but it's all about Mark Marlou for the Suzuki. Can he get underneath Marquez coming down into the bottom gear braking area of the loop? We have, so the Suzuki cuts to the inside. He's looking for the cutback. This is where he went past Marquez before. This time he sits in with him. We're all, and Alex Rins, one off. Rins, Rins gets, gets it over the line. him on the line. On the Rins. Higher left to outdrive the Honda to the line in the British Grand Prix. Suzuki are excited yep, the corner so got the first part of it, and then Rins cut back and drove him to the line. The line, by the way, is in the middle of that. Get on at all, he doesn't like, he doesn't like Mark Marquez one bit, and there's not a better feeling. Do you know what, I wondered what he was doing. On the Woodcut, he didn't have a tyre with him to drive to the line. That's the second weekend on the trot in Grand Prix where he just had a bobble in the last drive. The feeling. That turned out to be a bit of a combination of um, situations there it was well. a combination of fun well he's gonna have to have a word with himself on the cooling down lap yeah. to, to put the smile on yeah. because that's a painful jack miller jack miller slipping behind the factory ducati in the end to finish in eighth place polis bargro a good ninth place on the gate <laughs> wow what a win though. if you're gonna win a motor gp race key served its tires which is all part of it hey, oh. that's uh marquez run out of fuel or 
<laughs> actually, yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> so the whistles are blown. Davide Brivio. Right. Yep. Oh, it was Rins who came over to Mark. Rins who came over to Mark. Proper job. That's just full well that Casey Stoner was about to explode. And the words were. <laughs> Your ambition outweighed your talent. He said, great Team Suzuki always ran out of Great Britain in the past. And Sylvan. Yeah, Sylvan Gintoli, I was talking about him earlier. You were talking about yeah, that before. that was a lap before. Yeah. And I don't know if Rins was having a word with him in the... About the... Uh, Marcus is there. There it is. That was a big one. That was yeah. the one. He lost it at the back end, couldn't yeah. drive to the line. And that, that Rins is... <laughs> great celebrations for Suzuki. Santiana. But the bike and the rider is there, so we need to keep working. It's a good, it's a good day for me, so we need to keep working. We are there, and this is the, the most important. Uh, we are FIA 58 in front, and we live from uh, Silverstone 78 in front. Finally, we get it. I need to say thank you to, to all the team. Thanks to you all guys that you come here to support us. Vamos!